Trash Show. I'm your host, Darby Trash. Tonight we've got two guests for you, an aspiring animator and a local band. But first, a word from our sponsor. Got plenty news? Call me, Rick Bradshaw. Rick Bradshaw and Bradshaw and Sons. Plenty news. Oh, that's animations that blend music into the story. Man, I don't know what that is. Well, let's find out about it. Let's welcome our first guest, Gus Bailey. Come on out. Thanks for coming out tonight, Gus. So, <laughs> Thanks for coming out tonight, Gus. So you have an animation that you're aspiring to make. Let's talk about that real fast. Yeah, so, um, I, first off, like I said, I'm an aspiring animator, and I have this seed of an idea called Thunder's Javelin. Thunder's Javelin. Thunder's Javelin is this, Thunder's Javelin. This, it's going to be this show where it intertwines uh, music and animation, uh, all the way down to the people, what they can do in this world. Um, there's... Have visual aid. Um, so start off right here with this first lady. Uh, she is uh, a harmonic, and what these harmonics can do is they use weapons and instruments to harmonize with the elements, and they fight. Uh, there's other people that just fight called marshals, um, and the reason I want to do this is. One, because there's not a lot of, not a lot of it anyway. Uh, two, it's a chance to uh, see more people of color. She, she's a mm. black woman. She's a mom. She, she represents a lot of marginalized protagonists that I haven't seen in animation mm -hmm. before. And that's my first. Mm -hmm. But that's yeah, I want to know. <laughs> So I understand you're intertwining music, like say someone's moving a sword, you'll hear like... Yeah, uh, so and that's where I'm kind of at visual, trying to figure out what exactly that looks like. Um, I know that in this world that uh, swords are the equivalent to uh, guitars. So in this world, someone will say, I play the blades. And anything like that, or any floor, uh, sword flourish would be, you know, a guitar, a guitar chord, a note. And with that first lady that I showed you, True, she is essentially electric harmonic. So she's playing the electric guitar, swinging it around, you know, fucking people up. And it's, I know that visually, once I kind of get all these characters kind of out, it's going to be great. So I guess I can start by showing some stuff off. This is what I'll call uh, pre-pre-production art. Um, oh wow. <laughs> this was, this is actually uh, four of the ladies of this band called Thunder Javelin. True was actually one of the guitars. Uh, this was Blades, their main guitars. Uh, and then their leader, Bats, was this crazy loud, uh, you know, she didn't have any of the elemental powers, but she's definitely the person that's going to want to fight you regardless. Um, this is the hothead. The hothead of the group, most definitely. Uh, gotcha. she, she's definitely the one that uh, like wants to, to fight you. Uh, she or Not so much want to fight you. She's the one that's the leader, even though pound for pound, True is the strongest person on the team. She has that leader quality. And then Blades and her sister, uh, Moonchild, which was the drummer, um, they kind of round out the group. Uh, 
Uh, gotcha, so in this world, gangs would most certainly be called bands. Yes. Uh, That's sick. Gang, or just any type of uh, grouping of people. Instead of calling it a gang, instead of calling it your family, that's my band over there. You know, I, I travel with my band. Because, um, you know, you guys know. Yeah. You guys are a family. You guys are a band. Yeah. Um, it's that camaraderie that you that you will feel with these ladies, you know. Um, and as they kind of go through their story of this grand discovery, because you meet them a little bit later in life where they're not even a band anymore. They've broken up. And so the story is them kind of coming back together. Oh, wow. Okay. Um, That's actually a really good plot. That's a really yes. thick storyline. And there. I'm so really like... thinking about about it in the sense of uh, what if, what would happen if like the Beatles broke up? You know, what what would that look like? You know, they were world, they were essentially world renowned. And then something happened in this world that makes them war criminals. And so they have to essentially die. And so for some odd years, they're, no one knows who they are. And so then when they kind of pop back up, that's when she goes down. That actually sounds like something I can really get sucked into. Oh, wow. Dude, uh, I'm, I'm actually sucked into writing it. Right get sucked now. into it. You know, uh, I, I, the, the ladies, they're, they're, they're kind of in this route. I already kind of know where they're going. The thing that I've been having fun with is making their obstacles, making antagonistic forces that would kind of be against them, but not, not in the ways that you would think. Um, the first villain that, that you'll see My guy Zero. Zero is unlike anything that you'll see in the, uh, the entire series. Zero is what you would call a marshal. And these marshals, instead of playing an instrument in with the elements, uh, they are something kind of more akin to, uh, let's say my visual reference is Avatar The Last Airbender. There's something more akin to, to Benders. But this guy, this guy's an actual monster, you know, because he's. He's got smoke in one hand, fire in another hand, and then he can combust into this electricity thing. Uh, and he's their first, like, villain. It's like, oh, so how does that, you know, go against each other, you know, a person that's playing an instrument versus someone that's straight up just trying to, like, fight you. But then you realize that there's people in this band that are like that, like Bats. Bats is a hand-to-hand -hand person. She doesn't have an instrument. She was just their front lady. She sings with her voice. And so there's a whole bunch of little tidbits to to this combat, and it's it's, it's going to be amazing. Uh, I, I can see it in my head. Uh, you guys get are getting like the first look at it. This is like I said, this is just pre pre production art. Like I haven't even gone full force into the production drive of this yet. Um, but I know that it's great, and I can't wait for you guys to see. It. Well, I'm certainly excited about it. That's called Thunderous Javelin, by the way. Be on the lookout for that. So, after this, we have our next guest who's going to be coming on, Just Be, a local Savannah punk band. We're speaking with the vocalist right here. <laughs> Who? Me? Me? <laughs> oh, yeah. That's me. <laughs> What's up, y'all? Ah. <laughs> so, they got an upcoming album called The New Official. You're gonna be performing five songs for us tonight, I understand? Yeah, we're gonna be uh, doing a five song set. Me and my band crew, my brothers. All right, uh, we'll be showing off a little bit of music that we got, that we've been working on. Right on. Hopefully y'all like it. And I'm new to this, man, so I'm very much nervous. That's right, you started off as a rapper. Yeah. All right, we'll be hearing what they sound like right after this next commercial break. Do you feel depression sometimes? Then try the new Stretch Water Hose by Ben Dover. We accommodate any size you need. Never let a garden go unwatered again. Stretch by Ben Dover. The fuck they gotta do with depression? Do you like hot tea? I do. Hot tea is great for starting your day. What do you like to add to it? There's endless possibility with the tea. Hot tea, try it. Hey, we got Just Be coming at you in just a moment. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. Oh. 
When you're in a serious renovation situation, you want just the right worker to do the job. Well, when you want that house you've been thinking of built, call us goddamn good. Let's talk to one of our workers out on the field. Yeah, we out here. We building something. You see this shit? I don't, I don't know what it is, but I know it's something. That's goddamn good. Goddamn good construction industries. Give us a call sometime. For your tummy. It's just the perfect snack. Mm. Really is some life changing shit. Cron nuts. You already know this ain't no plate. It's the best. You can smoke them, you can eat them, share them. No, no, no. Take smoke that shit, bro. <laughs> Tony, that's that good shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. Fucking crazy! <laughs>
Thanks, that's our show for tonight. I'll see you next time. And I got my nipples.